Have you ever wondered how plants reproduce? How do these stationary beings rooted to the spot manage to pass on their genetic material, ensuring the survival of their kind? Well, one of the key players in this intricate dance of life is the microsporangium, a term that might sound a bit intimidating, but really, it's not as complex as it seems. In the grand theater of plant reproduction, the microsporangium plays the role of a nursery, a safe haven where the future generation of plants, the pollen grains, are nurtured and developed. You could think of it as a tiny factory where the magic of life begins. The microsporangium is part of the stamen, the male reproductive organ of the flower. And within this microsporangium, the process of meiosis takes place, producing four haploid cells. These cells eventually mature into pollen grains, the very agents of plant reproduction. Now, you might ask, how do these pollen grains find their way to the female part of the plant? The answer lies in the wind, water, or even insects and birds. Nature, in her infinite wisdom, has devised countless ways to ensure the continuation of life. Isn't it fascinating how something so small as the microsporangium plays such a pivotal role in the grand scheme of things? To summarize, the microsporangium is a vital part of the plant's reproductive system. It's the place where pollen grains are produced, which are then transported by various means to the female part of the plant, thereby ensuring the continuation of the species. The world of plants is a world of wonder, full of intricate processes and structures that work in harmony to create and sustain life. So, the next time you see a flower, remember the microsporangium, that tiny hidden factory where the magic of life begins.